Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today I'm going to do this hairdo and I can't tell you the trouble I have had. For some reason, for some reason, I have this mental block on doing a demonstration. I, I don't do tutorials because I don't know enough about stuff to ever do tutorials, but a demonstration of uh, doing this, this, my, this way of doing beachy curls. I have a lot of different ways to do beachy curls. Sometimes I, I pin things up at night while it's still damp and bring the curl out that way. I do it in a big scrunch and bring the curl out that way. I will roll it in little tiny buns to bring the curl out that way. I have a lot of different ways. And this is one way right here that I learned from Harmonize Beauty is her YouTube channel and her Instagram name. It's Harmony is her name. And she has a big presence on YouTube and Instagram. She does lots of wonderful tutorials. She is an, she's a hairdresser, yes and she just demonstrates this beautifully somebody asked me to do it and i said well i'll do it but really you'd learn more if you watch harmony so i will tell you all the same thing you'll learn more if you watch harmony so of course i will link her instagram and her youtube channel below be sure you go and watch her videos she's amazing okay so i used on this a three quarter inch curling iron because i wanted it curlier started at the root like uh, harmony said to do placed my curling iron there, and then I would bring it down, bring more hair in, and feed it through, and I'll show you. Bring it through, feed it through, like that. When I say I have a mental block, it's like when this camera turns on, if I'm doing something with hair, it's like, in my mind, I go, hair, hair, what's hair? What do I do with it? Turn the camera off, I go in there, and I'm just jazzing it up and fixing my hair like crazy. So it's something in my mind that is making me afraid of this camera when, I, I mean, I can do anything else on here. I mean, I've acted like an idiot on here, but doing my hair is something that I very am unsure about. I have a good friend that I text with and she has asked me to do a messy bun. I have a different way of doing it now of a messy bun and I can't do it on camera. I'll try and try, but turn that camera off and I'll just do that messy bun just perfectly. So I haven't done it, <laughs> but uh, it's just it's just hard for me. But anyway, three quarter inch curling iron is what I used. Uh, Harmony sets and her hair off and starts from the bottom up. I can't do that. I get confused. I start from the top down. So and then I wind it up after I make do my curl. I wind it up into a pin curl and pin it with the duck bill duck bill clips. And I tease this area right here per harmony with a little rat, rat tail comb. Tease a little section, tease a little section. And she sprays it with the Air Control by Aveda, the root. I usually spray mine with the volumizing tonic at the root. So in this video, I did half with the tonic, half with the Air Control and half with the tonic. And I think they came out the same. So either one is just fine to use. And here's my little comb, the clips, the curling iron, and I'm ready to get started. This is something that uh, it, take, it takes me a little while to do it, and I don't do it that often. It's damaging for my hair, and it also, uh, I, I shampoo my hair frequently, so it, it's a lot of trouble for me, you know, just to wash it right out again. So, But I, I did want to demonstrate it because I will do it occasionally. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with it and I hope you enjoy it and I hope this turns out. I will edit a lot of it out, I promise, so it won't be too long. I'm, I'm going to add teasing right through here, right through my crown area, all the way around, just taking pieces and teasing it a little bit with the rat tail comb. So I, I tease it and then spray the root and drop it and let it dry. I go do something else, let it dry completely. The most important thing is to let it dry completely, I think, because you're adding that heat to it. And if it's kind of damp, it'll you know, steam and damage your hair, I would think. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that.
Okay, so I'm gonna let this cool uh, while I go eat some lunch and then I'll be back to start rolling. Uh, so I've got my curl now and I've had it plugged in and this is all dry, three quarter inch uh, curling iron. And I know you can see a little bit of my mirror, but I just had to raise it up a little bit. It hurts my back to slump over. And I part it in half and just work on each side and go down. Okay, I'm gonna start at the root and curl it. Then bring it, gradually bring it down. Curl it up some more. And I bring mine down a little bit more than she does toward the end. And then wind it up. For a few seconds and then let it out. And then take that curl and wind it up into a pin curl and pin it. Okay, then I go on to the, to start toward the back more. I always go away from my face. Some people will go kind of alternate, but I always go away. So toward the root, feed it through, feed it through to close to the end. Wind it up and hold it for a few seconds. Get your clip ready and bring it out and then wind it up into a pin curl. This pin curl, winding it up into a pin curl, that really helps because it helps it to, uh, to set it better. So I'll go on to another one. I'm going to do the other side now. Now this side was the spray. This, uh, the can spray, the air control. This one's going to be the volumizing tonic. Okay, uh, 
doing the bangs last and doing them kind of following along with what Harmony says, doing them toward my face. She kind of, she usually brings her, adds some heat to them and brings them down. I just, I don't fool with that. So, <clears throat> doing two pieces. My hair is so uneven. It's just not even funny. Okay. I'm going to let this cool down and I'll be back. Okay. I'm nervous. It has failed every other time I've tried to film it. Turn the camera off, it looks good as gold. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> I'm still scared. I've got my curling iron still plugged up just in case I need to use it. Okay. What I usually do now is turn my head upside down and kind of scrub the roots like I'm shampooing my hair. That kind of breaks up the teasing and the, the hairspray just a little bit. And uh, then I run my fingers through the curls. So I will, I will do that. <laughs> in this mirror but I do like to just kind of break it up and I'm gonna have a few straight pieces and a few curly pieces but that gives it kind of more of a natural look and some of the pieces are have long ends and some of them have shorter ends I don't think there's much difference actually in the Aveda by uh, the air control on this side and the volumizing tonic I think either one of them would be fine um, they both gave some good volume with the teasing and did fine when you added the heat. So I think either one of them is fine. Okay, I'm gonna go put my earrings in and just kind of get a look at this. I like to I like to take it around my, you know, right here on, on my temples and spray it right there because I like some I like some fullness right there. So I will go look at the mirror and I'll be back in a minute. Oh. Okay, here it is. I just messed it up, ran my fingers through it, broke up with some curls and let it go. And, uh, you know, you can spray it if you want to, but I like it to start out kind of curly because it, it starts falling. And if you don't shampoo your hair every day, by the second day, then you've just kind of got bends in it. And, you know, it'll last a long time. But uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it so much. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend coming up. And uh, take good care of yourself and stay healthy. I really appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.